Here's a battle against some random fellow who calls himself Basin Lord. Alright. So he starts off with QRM, and I start off with my classic lead O'Brien. And blah 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 pressure, blah blah blah. So he starts right off with Glaciate, which why does he know that? That's a terrible, terrible move, but whatever. That's his fault. I mean, I guess he is using QRM against me, so that says something right there. So I go for the Leech Seed, and I miss. And he goes for yet another Glaciate, and hits. So now my speed is cut in half, not that I have any speed whatsoever anyway. And I go for the Leech Seed again, and this time I, I do get it. So I'm gonna start sapping some health from this crazy QRM Legendary. And of course, yeah, blah blah blah, I heal. And now he withdraws Kiram, and I'm like, oh, jeez. What well, was the point of that leech seed then? But anyway, he sends out Salamence, and I get the Intimidate. Not that that affects me too badly anyway. And I use Stealth Rock, so now I've got some entry hazards out there. So if he does any more switching, he will pay for it. And I stayed in, but he hits me with a flamethrower, so ouch. But I survive it, because I'm a defensive maniac. And I should have used Spikes right there, but I went for the leech seed instead. And I really shouldn't stay in, because I can't take another one of those flamethrowers. I mean, it was amazing that I took that first one so well, frankly. But I'm back in the yellow zone, so I switch out now, of course, because, like I just said, I can't stay in there. So I send out Tickle Balls, my dragon killer. I'm not the biggest fan of Sylveon, but I figured my team could use a fairy. And, of course, right off the bat it gets burned. Luckily, it's a special attacker, at least, and it'll get some residual leech seed damage from that. And so I heal with Leech Seed, and then take burn damage. So next, the Salamence uses Hyper Voice, so I'm guessing this is meant to be a Mega Salamence, except that it's not. So, yeah, that's weird. So I set up with Calm Mind, so that I can get some special attack power out there. And, yeah, so I, I recover with Leech Seed. And... Recover with Leech Seed, yeah, yeah, okay. Take some burn damage. And now I take another Flamethrower from the Salamence. I guess he decided Hyper Voice wasn't good enough. So now I use Hyper Voice, but I have Pixelate. So I wipe out this Salamence. So finally, Tickle Balls has done something for me, because normally he's been kind of useless in battles, and I've thought about replacing him, but I just, I'm not really sure who to replace him with. But anyway, so next comes out Greninja. And, of course, Stealth Rock damage goes into it. And he hits me with a Night Slash, which is, of course, resisted. So that looks good for me. And I use Hyper Voice again. And that's just going to do a ton of damage. And I... So this guy didn't even have a Protean Greninja and a new Night Slash. So I'm thinking he's kind of a noob. No offense. So I only have 3 HP left. And now it's a shiny Excadrill. Oh, look at that. And of course, it takes, like, no st uh, Stealth Rock damage, because it quad-resists that. And I just stay in, because I'm screwed anyway. So I take I take Rock Slide damage and faint. And I decide to send in Leaky Tube. And I get hit by Rock Slide again. Two Rock Slides in a row. And I use Hydro Pump. Super effective. Stab. And that takes it down. So, there's three of us Pokemon fainted, and I recover some leftover damage. Out comes Japanese Letters. It's Kyurem again. It takes super effective Stealth Rock damage, so now it's missing a decent chunk of its HP. And it goes for the Outrage. So, that nails Leaky Tube. But he survives it, because he's also a defensive monster. And he gets off the burn on this QRM, so that'll cut its attack in half. And take down gradual health. And of course, I think everyone can guess what I'm going to do next, now that it's burned. So I can recover some leftover damage, I protect myself. Plus, that way, it has a chance of confusing itself without fin- Yep, there it is, it got the confusion. So that's terrible luck for my opponent, that he only got two- Outrage is off, so I recover some more HP. So now I have a chance of... Well, I have a chance of it just hurting itself altogether. Uh, but I go for the switch anyway, I guess. So, out comes O'Brien. I guess I'm thinking I can set up some spikes while it's confused or something. And... 
and it breaks through confusion, gets another outrage off, but that does not do too much. It does enough damage that the next one would kill me. So, yeah. And, but it takes a shit ton of damage just from touching me, and then the burn finishes it off. So I guess just that was worth it. Plus, this battle's already in my favor anyway. So out comes Slowbro. And, of course, Stealth Rock damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it hits me with an Ice Beam, so I do not get the chance to set up Leech Seed, which is probably what I was going to do. Or Spikes, which would be a good alternative. But that's okay. So I bring out Leaky Tube again. Because, of course, he's also an electric type. And I figure it's going to do some sort of healing thing over and over, side to side, just to burn it so it always takes residual damage for the whole battle. I take that Surf like a pro, 2 HP left, but now I get some leftover damage off. Yeah, recovering, yeah, burning, ouch, ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ow, burn, ow! Okay, so I protect myself so that I can spam some more. I'm sorry, I spam protect a lot in these videos. Normally, I hate when people do that, and I really only have one protect guy per team, because I hate it too. I, I feel bad every time I do it, no matter what. It's just, it's really cheap, and I realize that, and I apologize. But anyway, so I go for the Thunderbolt and take the slow bro down. I probably could have just done that to start with, but oh well. Gotta be safe with my Will-O-Wisp. Recover some more leftover damage, yeah. I love this Rotom. It's great. I see why everybody uses it. And so out comes Landorus, and I'm like, well, he can probably... Ooh, Therian, nice. The Therians are just... There's, like, no comparison. The regular forms are kind of lame. The Therian forms are awesome. So anyway, so I protect myself so I can scout what it's going to do, and he doesn't even realize that I have Levitate, so that confirms noob status right there. And I'm like, well, shoot, I could have just attacked it instead of having to protect. And he uses Earthquake again. He, did he not see the ability thing fly up? But anyway, so I send out the burn, and by now, hopefully he realizes that Earthquake is not going to work on me. Come on, dude. So I recover some leftover damage because he's given me that perfect opportunity. He's taking burn damage. This battle is basically over. I protect myself just, just to be safe. And he used the Swords Dance, he figured out what I'm doing with my Protect thing. But the battle is basically finished. I recover some more leftover damage, yada yada yada. He takes some burn damage. And... Oh, he used the Swords Dance again. He was ready to sweep, except that he won't get that chance. Sorry, opponent. And I use Hydro Pump. And that is the match. Sorry, Basin Lord.